Well, but this is just pure, purely personal. I mean, I, I tried it for a while and um, ne never quite got enough uh, success out of it. Uh, and partially because uh, of the way my, my feet are made, they, they are quite flat. And, and because of that, I had, uh, even in the, begin the beginning, about 20 years ago as a runner, have had to use motion control shoes. And as I got on to longer and longer distances, I actually have to get orthotics done to give my arch, uh, arches a bit more support. When I took them away, I could manage short distances, but, uh, but it wasn't long before I started feeling uh, the strain on the foot. And, and actually, it was really problems with the knee, because how, how, your, how your foot aligns itself and it runs has have a bearing on how your, the rest of the lower limb is, and your knees function. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, like, I'm probably one of those uh, not particularly suited for barefoot running, at least for long distances. In the instance of somebody who has actually uh, over pronates or have very flat arch, right? What what really happens is that uh, as the foot pronates or over pronates and doesn't re supinate, that means go back to the neutral position. Okay, when you try to push off with a foot that's still pronated, it doesn't function very well as a liver, and really the, the liver actually comes about from from uh, primarily this this two toe. See, now uh, in my instance, for example, I would have to use orthotics to help limit the overpronation so that I can still push off uh, properly and without these right my foot will remain overpronated so uh, they don't function very well as a liver and of course with time uh, the these tendons that are supposed to be supporting my arches for example there's a tendon that runs behind here and attaches here starts causing pain because uh, it's under stretch most of the time and similarly there's another structure that's underneath my, my, my foot okay in this instance called plantar fascia Okay, which also undergoes a more strain than it, it is used to. Uh, I suppose if I did do it long enough, uh, over perhaps even months, uh, my, my foot might get used to it. So the key point I'm trying to bring across is even for people who might have some, who wants, who wants to switch over the barefoot running, right? It really takes time, not just for the muscles, but the tendons get used to the loading. Actually, nobody actually knows, so nobody has done study. But uh, if, you know, from the experience I've had from patients that come in, sometimes when they switch over fairly fast, you know, uh, in a couple of weeks, right? Maybe talk about maybe three, four weeks, that's when the injury comes about. And I realistically, I would get, well, I would guess, and it's probably a guess, uh, we're talking about maybe two months, three months, you know, and not just the timing, but really how how you increase the loading. If, uh, if you're already running fairly high mileage, you might just start off using your short and recovery runs, trying out. Uh, Trying out um, barefoot running. Perhaps it's possible to go and do it uh, as a step count, even when you try to switch, you know, to something which has shoes but with more flexibility, and then after that something with less cushioning. Uh, 